Good morning. Did you have a good week? Are you ready for your lesson? I hope you get to come into Sunday school today. The class is going to be open and I get to see some beautiful faces. So excited. There have been a lot of birthdays since this COVID happened. So I don't even know who's going to be there. I hope you are though. I hope you didn't have a four birthday and have to go out of my class, but if you did, we'll still see you outside on the playground, right? And in church? Mm -hmm. So, are you ready for your lesson? Since we're getting back into class, though, I think we should do the safety rules and make sure everybody knows them because we don't want anyone to get hurt and we like to give out stickers. But you don't get a sticker if you don't get the question right. So let's see. Safety rule number one is the most important because we have to know where you are to keep you safe. So safety rule number one is don't touch the outside doors, right? You have to stay in the classroom. Safety rule number two Sit in your chair properly. You have to sit in your chair properly because if you don't, you could fall and hit your chin or the back of your head, and those are both dangerous injuries. We don't want anyone to get hurt, do we? Nope. Safety rule number three, don't lock the bathroom door. Have you locked the door? and you need help, it can help you. Nobody has a key to that door. Don't lock the bathroom door, okay? Safety rule number four. Does anyone remember what this one is? It's a pretty much a favorite, I think. Everybody likes this rule. <clears throat> it's hard to remember, though, when you're having fun. No running. What are you supposed to do instead? Jump. That's right. Jump, 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 jump around like a little monkey. Jump around like a kangaroo, like a grasshopper. Jump like a bunny rabbit. Right? Jump, jump, jump. Jump back into your seats. And let's talk about safety rule number five. Number five, very important, all the time, cover your cough. <coughs> That's good. <coughs> That's better. <coughs> That's best, right? Safety rule number six, very easy to remember if you have a mask on. If you don't, still you need to remember it because it's really gross and you won't get to start snack if you do safety rule number six. Don't poke your nose. Nobody wants booger snacks, right? Don't poke your nose if you're going to serve snack in my class. Everybody can reach the tissue box. So there's no need to poke your nose. And if there's no tissues at your house, you can go get some toilet paper from the bathroom. You don't need to poke your nose. Um, maybe you should just wear a mask if you're a nose picker. That way you can't get it. Okay, safety rule number seven is new since COVID, but we should have had it before COVID anyway because it's just good sense. Wash your hands properly. You get a little bit of water, one squirt of soap. You have little hands, you only need one squirt. And then you scrub your hands together singing the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Get between your fingers, get the backs. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Do your fingernails, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 
Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Then you wash the water, the soap off your hands with water. Turn the water off and get one paper towel. You have little hands. You only need one paper towel. Okay? Good job. Are you ready for the lesson? Today's story is about hiding God's word in your heart. When you're eating cookies, you hide the cookie inside your body, right? Well, when you're studying God's word, you should hide it in your heart. Do you remember last week we talked about Jesus getting baptized? After he got baptized, the Holy Spirit led Jesus to the wilderness. He was there for 40 days. The whole time he was there, he did not eat or drink. And the devil came and tempted Jesus three times. Let's see? There's the devil trying to tempt Jesus. The devil came and said to Jesus, Turn these stones, turn these stones right here if you're hungry. Turn them into bread. Jesus answered the devil with a scripture from the Bible. He said, Man shall not live by bread alone. That's God's word. <clears throat> but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, that's what keeps us alive, is God's word. The devil then took Jesus and he set him on the very highest part of the temple. See how high they are? And it was very high above the ground. And Jesus, the devil tempted Jesus. He said, throw yourself down and let the angels catch you. And Jesus again used the word of God to fight the devil. He said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Then the devil took Jesus on a very high mountain top. Took him way up high. And he showed Jesus all of the kingdoms of the world. And he said, If Jesus would give him that the devil told Jesus that he would give him all of these kingdoms if he would only bow down and worship him. Jesus used the word of God again to defeat the devil. Jesus said, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only. Hmm? Only worship God. Finally, the devil left. He left Jesus alone because Jesus had resisted the temptations of the devil and God sent angels to minister to Jesus. But you know how Jesus beat the devil? He knew God's word. He knew about the scriptures that God had for him. So he was able to defeat the devil because Jesus knew what God said and he knew that he should be listening to God. Mm -hmm. So when you hide God's word in your heart, then you can bring it out later and know how to do the right things and to resist temptation because you listen to God's word. That the Holy Bible, that's God's word. All right, lovelies. I hope we will see you in class soon. Today would be great. If not, we'll see you soon. I hope everybody is going to get a COVID shot if they're afraid of the COVID. And if not, come to Sunday school class. We're going to be so excited to see everybody. It's going to be such a wonderful day. 
I love you. Bye-bye.